Hello everyone. So, I see a lot of people asking questions on how to calibrate the focus on your Snapmaker laser. So, I thought I would just do a quick video and show you how I do it, because it's a question that seems to come up quite often on forums and whatnot. And there's actually easier ways to do it than just using your autofocus and doing constant test patterns as well. So anyway, let me just get this over quickly and I'll show you how I do it. So, you want to start your machine up, go across, calibration. So we're going to home the machine first. Now I'm going to do this handheld just so I can move around and show you everything. So it might be a little shaky, but you'll have to live with it. Come on, baby. There we go. So the first thing we're going to have to do is the material thickness. So that is from the bed to the top of your workpiece. So we're going to measure that, which is the first thing. So we can see we're on material thickness right now. So I'm going to grab some calipers and zero them out. And we're going to measure from the top of the workpiece down to the bed. Which is about 17.2, 17.1. So we go over here. Let's go 17.2. Okay, lock that in. So now it's going to bring the laser down. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is lo lower the laser module onto your workpiece. Now, one thing it's going to make sure is that the hood is tight on the laser, this end bit actually unscrews, so just make sure that's tight, so that way you're getting an accurate reading. Now I'm going to move the laser over before we start. And just bring it over where I want it to be. So you can just do that by jogging all the distances and just moving the axis as you need it. So what I am going to use for this is my feeler gauge. You can use a piece of paper as well, um, but I'm going to use a feeler gauge. So we lower the laser module down, so this is basically just touching. So we'll bring it down. That's got a bit more, because I've only got one hand, this is a little harder than normal. Still got more, more, more. Oh, we're getting close. All right. All right, we're getting close. Alright, we're touching. So you shouldn't be able to get the feeler gauge under, or it should be very tight. Which is what we've got. Like I said, you can use a sheet of paper if you want. I like feeler gauges because they're more consistent. So that's our touch-off point. Okay. Next. Next. So it brings it up here, and it's asking you to put a piece of paper down and adjust the laser beam till the dots focus. Now, I don't know if the Snapmaker software is balked like it normally is, but as you can see, there's no laser dot at the moment. But luckily, that doesn't matter because we can just skip this step. So we hit next again.
Now from here you can move it if you want to if you want to reposition or if you're not happy where it's sitting. You should have done that before though. So now we're going to run it and it's going to do a test pattern and then we're going to have a look. Trying not to burn my eyes out. Now, so now we're going to set the offset for the focus or where we're happy with. So we grab this piece out, we have a look at it. Oh, flickering. Sorry about the flickering. So normally for me, it's minus uh, 2.5, which is, if we look, so that's your zero, that's minus 2.5, which it looks like it's exactly where it normally is. So we go over to here, drop it back. And I think we're going to go with that. Let me just confirm. Yep, I'm happy with that. So 2.5 minus 2.5. So we set it. So what actually happens after you do that, it drops the laser head by that value. And where the laser is sitting right now is where your perfect focus point should be. So here's the trick. You pop this back. Right? Now, that gap, as it is right now, should be perfect. Exactly where you want it to be. So you don't need to do this every time. You just need to measure this gap and repeat it each time. So you can 3D print something, you can measure it, you can use some washers, whatever works for you. I use a drill bit. Now, this specific snap maker for me it's 3.5 millimeters it always has been this this gap well dropped it so don't just assume yours will be 3.5 millimeters because it probably won't but if we drop this drill bit under it should just fit under like that it should be either snug or you should get just a little bit of resistance like that and that is how I set my laser focus every single job now so you basically um, lower the laser down onto your little drill bit or whatever you decide to use that's the home position for your laser you don't need to do any focusing or anything and then under controls you can set it as your work origin. Now, in the next video, I'll show you how to actually center your entire workpiece, uh, which is not too hard to do either. But when I say centering, I mean centered in the X and Y axis. So you've got your laser now, you know where that needs to be. So now we can do the whole workpiece, but that'll be in the next video. Hopefully this uh, helps anyone who struggles with laser focusing and not burning marks in all the jobs they're trying to do. Anyway, next video coming soon. Thank you.